another room review and finally we have blazers 2.1 rise new vision which is official of course and really thanks to Adita for building this one but before we start I want to clear a few things we should update this build or not so let's get started and video won't be longer so you watch till the end without skipping first of all let me show you from the settings and about section this is under 13 of course and here is standard version and version 2.1 new vision and here we have the maintainer names and then latest security update from this month and kernel used 1.2 plus which is since perf and Linux status as well then we have system as usual the regular customization we have device settings you guys already know about that and we have gesture customization which you can do that then we have other things here like password and accounts accessibility storage and you guys will get a new ui where the graph is like this where storage and battery section as well you guys will get design battery capacity current battery capacity and battery uses just like this then we have location privacy and security but like rise droid 8.0 we don't have a face unlock yet but in future updates we will get that and here you guys can see three fingerprints i already added from same finger uh, why i di uh, did like this i will talk about later so here is the notification as usual all app uh, settings notifications then we have sound and vibration as usual the regular customization and here we have the wallpaper and style then we have themed icons app grid as well but we don't have extra wallpapers then we have here the display settings adaptive brightness and other things and display size which is from uh, android 13 the new look is here then screen saver as usual the new look from android 13 you guys will get like this when to start while clocked uh, while docked then we have the blaze house which is customization hub uh, customizations added and perfectly working all the customizations and you guys can change lock screen clock style as well huge collections are there and custom forms are added and you guys can use any of this then we have icon packs uh, like wi-fi icon shapes and signal icon style and system ui which is old ui and new ui just let me show you that and this is the new user interface then we have the status bar items then we have cloak battery customizations as traffic indicators and other things everything notification count everything is working fine i already checked and brightness slider position can be changed like this top and bottom we whatever you want and reticker and data uses the new features of course available then we have the lock screen double tap to sleep on lock screen as well then we have these things as usual all are equal then we have the home settings and which is from pixel launcher and you guys will get the taskbar which i am using if you click on the, the taskbar you guys can easily switch to any application uh, if you use the taskbar and let me show you uh, just like this just like this you guys can easily uh, switch to any application and we had and um, one issue in this uh, november security update where you guys will get the uh, gcam freezing issue actually any g gcam freezing issue you guys won't be able to use any gcam but in that build this is fixed you guys can easily use gcam 8.4 version any 8.5 or 8.7.4 whatever lower you guys can easily use but 8.6 cannot be used so i tested it's perfectly working there is no issue and by default gcam which is also perfectly working there is no issue i already checked now let me show you some things and here is the cpu throttling for 87 percent which is really really cool and this is great idea and this is the vanilla build i talked about everything now let me show you the geekbench score and which is also also great single core is 270 and multi core 1105 which is really good and i played pubg mobile for a long time using uh, while playing games a screen recorder was turned on and that was really really awesome uh, gameplay but the problem comes with the calling application now i'm talking about the bugs 
in that build uh, this is the bomber if you want to use or not if you click on sound and vibration it will crash and again settings and vibration and calling accounts uh, and phone lock and this phone keeps stopping and this is the thing and the main important thing is that the fingerprint I added three times from same finger but fingerprint is not working perfectly it's not unlocking it will just vibrate it will not unlock your device just like this let me show you and here is the device and in the fingerprint so let me turn off device is turned off right now and I am I am tapping I am tapping device noise is not unlocking so this is the issue with that vanilla build I guess I am using here the vanilla build uh, maybe this issue isn't available on the GF's build but I don't recommend to update right now this one let uh, just wait for the next update so hope you guys understand and this is the user interface of control center from BlazeOS which always always great so hope you guys understand the video if you like my work then do subscribe and hit the bell icon so thank you for watching